I'm Jessica. I'm a program manager with the Department of Social Services Child Welfare. I have the privilege of introducing you today to our Fresno implementation team. We will have some supervisors introduce the work that we are currently doing to support all of our new innovations. Thank you everyone for your time today. Hello everyone, my name is Nancy and I'm a supervisor with Child Welfare and I'll be, I will be presenting campus development. The purpose of campus development is a committee that is currently working on modernizing operations, how we leverage the technology that we have now to enhance our work. We have worked on leveraging our technology and redefined our protocols as we have moved to telecommuting options and becoming paperless. We continue discussing ways in which we can streamline process as we prepare for the move to the new building. Hello, my name is Roy. I'm a social work supervisor with Child Welfare, and I'll be presenting on the Child and Family Team Meeting, or CFT work group. The purpose behind this work group is to improve how we work with families. The CFT is used to strengthen the voice and choice of the youth and the family, and builds consensus around their strengths and needs in service planning and delivery. The practice of working together as a team is the heart of the integrated core practice model and central to the implementation of family-centered practice. The CFT workgroup is supporting strengthening the child and family team meetings in order to identify permanency outcomes early and ongoing throughout the life of a case. The workgroup looks to identify specific practice skills that will enhance engagement with families, children, slash youth, and other team members. So what are we currently working on? The CFT uh, work group continues to work on improving the quality of our meetings. The CFT work group continues to ensure um, for ongoing training and support to both our facilitation team as well as case managers and our community partners. We're also working on improving documentation of CFT meetings and we're also working on implementing a new PPG or policy procedure guideline that was just completed. Hi, my name is Joanna and I'm a Supervising Office Assistant for Child Welfare. I'll be presenting on communications. The communications work group is focused on creating a culture of shared success and learning. We highlight practices and activities that reinforce the core elements and behaviors of Fresno County's core practice model by celebrating accomplishments and increased staff retention. We are currently working on new technology for our, ch our child welfare newsletter to help share and support changes within the department. My name is Fatima and I am a child welfare trainer with staff development and I'll be presenting on the child welfare training work group. The purpose of the child welfare training work group is to discuss and plan social work trainings as a whole for the child welfare services department. This includes state trainings, specific mandated topics and mandated core training, county specific mandated training, defensive driver and sexual harassment, and our own internal department training, induction training and other topics determined by admin and other needs. The child welfare training work group is focused on enhancing staff, caregiver and provider training. Right now we're looking at staff retention and what role training plays in that. We're currently working on a staff assessment and a survey format that is focused specifically on training for new employees. For example, things in training that were useful, not so useful, and anything that would have been beneficial when starting. Based on the answers to the survey, we will look at possibly adding or subtracting from our internal training for our new employees. We're also looking at developing a mentoring program for new employees. Hello, my name is Sherry. I'm a social work supervisor with Child Welfare, and I am introducing the Data and Evaluation Work Group. The work group's purpose is to implement and monitor data-driven practices that support child welfare families, as well as the core practice model and system improvement plan. We are focusing on monitoring department-wide data on a weekly basis. We also support strategy implementation and monitor outcome data for the child welfare system improvement plan. Currently, 
The Data and Evaluation Workgroup is focusing on monitoring the outcome data measures and systemic issues as identified in the System Improvement Plan. The subcommittee works collaboratively with each strategy workgroup to provide support and technical assistance in furtherance of strategy implementation. Hi, my name is Justin and I am presenting the Equity and Practice Committee. The Equity and Practice Committee is made up of four sub workgroups. We demonstrate fairness and equity by expanding our awareness and understanding of institutional and personal bias, increasing our knowledge, respect and regard for all ethnicities, cultures, gender, sexual identity, socioeconomic backgrounds, and perspectives by asking the groups that are most affected by our policies, services, and interventions to guide the development of our work. Hello again, my name is Justin Johnson and I'm a social work supervisor for child welfare and I am presenting the Achieving the Dream subgroup. Our work is centered on lowering the rate at which African-American children are placed into foster care increasing the number of relative mentor placements and decreasing the time needed for African-American children to achieve some form of permanency. Achieving the Dream fully recognizes that African-American children rates, permanency rates lag behind all other children in care. Nationally, African-American children remain in care longer and take longer to achieve permanency. We continue to monitor permanency rates in Fresno County and are working towards identifying practices to reduce, to reduce African-American children's time in out-of-home care. In order to achieve our goals, Achieving the Dream uses elements from the core practice model, engagement, advocacy, teaming, and a shared commitment and accountability as the backbone of the Achieving the Dream philosophy. We are currently working on modifying and updating the department's disparity dashboard and identifying and providing training opportunities for all DSS staff. Hi, my name is Cheryl. I'm a supervisor for child welfare. I also chair the Indian Child Welfare Practice Work Group. The ICWA team strives to improve tribal relationships centered on lowering the rate at which Native children are placed into foster care, increasing the number of relative placements and decreasing the time Native children are in the child welfare system. The ICWA practice team works in tandem with tribal governments to strengthen permanency outcomes early and throughout the life of a case. Through the development of tribal relationships, the Department of Social Services is able to find family members which decreases the need for foster care placement and fosters permanent connections to maintain tribal culture. Ongoing meetings with five local tribes to develop support around the individual and sovereign needs of the tribal people are what we continue to work on and updates our child welfare system so there's accurate data available for ethnicity, noticing, and placement. Hello again, my name is Roy. I'm a social work supervisor with Child Welfare and I'm presenting on the Sexual Orientation, Gender Identity and Expression Workgroup, also known as SOGI. Our work is focused on several key areas, making sure that the data regarding a youth SOGI information is documented in our CWS CMS computer system, also providing training and support regarding SOGI, SOGI to DSS staff and community partners, building partnerships with community-based organizations that support the LGBTQ population, and recruiting supportive and affirming homes for our LGBTQ youth that are placed in out-of-home care. Nationally, LGBTQ youth make up almost 20% of youth in out-of-home care, which is disproportionate, as less than 10% of youth in the general population identify as being LGBTQ. LGBTQ youth are often more likely to be placed in higher levels of care, including short-term residential treatment programs and group homes. Some of the things that we're currently working on is to provide training to our DSS staff and to community partners, also strengthening partnerships with community-based organizations, such as the EOC's LGBTQ Center, Trans Emotion, and the Spectrum Center. 
We're also compiling a list of resource homes that are and therapists that have experience working with youth that are identifying as LGBTQ. I'm also supporting workers who have LGBTQ youth on their case loads. Hi, my name is Cheryl, and I'm presenting on behalf of Danielle Nieto, who is a social work supervisor for child welfare and chairs the commercially and sexually exploited children, also known as CSEC committee. The CSEC work is centered on improving knowledge for those who work with youth who have experienced or are at risk of experiencing trafficking, creating realistic support for youth who have experienced human trafficking and prevention for youth who are at risk. The CSEC work group helps support the system improvement plan by developing a peer mentoring training program for social work staff so they feel more supported and better equipped to meet the job expectations as it relates to traffic or at risk for trafficking youth. We also use the core practice model philosophies to help staff working with traffic or at risk for trafficking youth increase their ability to engage and advocate for those youth or by providing training, peer support, and teaming. The CSEC work group partners with the state and other counties, as well as many community partners to increase service to CSEC youth, as well as create supportive policies for working with this population. We are currently working on a plan to increase correct documentation, ongoing trainings for staff and caregivers, and providing extra support to CSEC cases. Hello again. It's my privilege to introduce the Leadership Skills Coaching and Support Group. The purpose of the Leadership Skills Coaching and Staff Support Group is to support staff retention through improving leadership skills and enhancing the supervisor and staff relationship. The group will identify skills, trainings, and processes that work towards promoting workforce excellence. Currently, the Leadership Skills Coaching and Support Work Group is in the process of identifying staff to participate in the work group. And we are reviewing the past supervisor leadership training completion rates and the use of the leadership skills learned in that training. I want to thank everyone for their time today, and I want to thank the supervisors for introducing and sharing the work that their sub work groups are doing in child welfare to support enhancements to our system improvement plan and other practices that we do in child welfare when working with families and children in our community. If you are interested in more information, feel free to contact me, Jessica Carrillo, and or Trisha Gonzalez, our Deputy Director here at the Child Welfare Branch. Thank you again for all your time and support.